Don't touch that dial now. We're just getting started. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. It's me, Derek, and after a long hiatus from YouTube and Twitch, I decided it might be appropriate to kind of come back and try to get back into the swing of things. Um, as you guys may know or follow me on Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, you know, in the last three years I've been going through a lot of problems. Uh, a lot, actually. Uh, rather be from health, financially, uh, moving from place to place. Um, depression, suicide, you name it. Uh, it's kind of happened. Um, but I, I kind of want to go off the record here. I want to go ahead and try to fix things. Try to start making new content again. Uh, it's really hard for me to do this right now because uh, I, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, I mean, there's a lot I can talk about. I'm not really sure... Um, if it really matters in the end, but I kind of wanted to just go ahead and try to get things straight and Hopefully if you guys so let me I can try to start making content again uh, as you know, it's almost 2018 um, Another year Things could turn around. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping 2018 kind of fixes my uh, issues um, So let's go ahead and get to uh, where, where I am currently uh, currently, I'm at my brother's. My brother offered me a room to stay in. Um, we lost our home. Uh, my car completely broke down uh, after 12 years, so I don't have a car anymore. Um, I don't have my house anymore. My dad has took my cats, and I have another friend that took another cat. Um, and my fiance, she's moved up to Mansfield, Ohio. Um, to kind of stay up for grandma. It kind of gives us a chance to get back up on our feet and um, I think it's a good opportunity to do that. Um, now I'm currently, I currently have a job. It's a pretty decent job. Um, I won't tell you where it's from, but I'm constantly looking. A lot of my uh, jobs that I've had in the last three years, um, I've had problems with just mainly due to my health issues. Uh, um, I have heart problems, you guys know that. Uh, I struggle with depression, you guys know that as well. But I don't want to kind of have my first video in almost a year uh, <laughs> start out with as, as a pity party. Which that's not what I want here. I don't want a pity party. I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, I feel so sorry for this other fat neck beard on the internet. Um, and I'm, that's not aimed towards anybody. In particular, uh, that's just how I feel. Um, you know, I, I haven't played video games that much in a while. Uh, I play occasionally, and my um, that's something I always loved was playing video games. I don't really catch myself as into it as I used to. Uh, I'm tr I have a huge backlog, um, huge, and um, it's been hard for me to get back into it. Uh, my brother, he picked me up Wolfenstein, The New Order. Uh, I haven't played it. I played, like, a little bit, but my, my Xbox Blu-ray player doesn't want to read, so. Um, but I haven't really been catching myself playing very many games as I used to. Um, I want to kind of make that change a little bit, but I'm also aware of my current health problems. I uh, found out that I have type 1 diabetes, so kind of add that to the list of shit that I have affecting my life um, and the beginning of 2018 um, what I'm hoping here I'm going to be starting uh, dieting exercise uh, I've got a huge support system that's going to help me out with that um, I've pushed back the surgical weight loss thing for almost three years now and I'm going to try to get that done my ultimate goal is to eventually get completely caught up to the point where I have plenty of money so I can move up there to the Mansfield with my fiance. Uh, we've been pushing our wedding off for a super long time, uh, which sucks because I've, I've been wanting to get married. I want a kid. I, you know, I'm staying with my brother right now. and uh, He had a child back in, uh, I believe it was April or March. And anyways, um, he means the world to me. And I, you know, I love, I love kids. I'm 30 years old. Uh, I kind of feel like my life hasn't got anywhere. I think it's a lot to do with, um, you know, I, I, I beat myself up quite a bit. 
uh, I have super expectations, and I always fell them. So I'm hoping 2018 allows me to get past that because, you know, I need this. I need something good in my life. <laughs> For once, I need something good. Um, you know, I, I still have my friends and stuff. I don't get to see my friends as much as I want to. And the car thing kind of made things a little bit worse. Uh, you know, I, had, I bought that car back in 2006, brand new off the lot, had 13 miles on it. As a little Hyundai Accent. Um, and after, you know, it just died this year. Um, and, you know, most people don't have vehicles that last that long. And I'm, you know, I kind of consider myself lucky on that. But <laughs> I think it was the timing was, you know, I was just moving out of our place that we lost, which we had to leave a whole bunch of shit behind. Uh, you know, beds, couches, all that stuff. We couldn't keep it. Um, and uh, <laughs> as soon as that happened, you know, my fiance, she had to go. Um, which I wanted her to. I wanted her to get up there to kind of be with her family at the time, at her time of need. Um, and, you know, I, I miss her. I miss her a lot. It's hard to go, you know, six years with each other every single day, experience all the good, all the bad. Um, it's kind of hard to get used to this. Um, you know, I, I hate the fact that, you know, I can't do things on my own like I want to. Uh, I'm hoping I can fix this soon, though. I, you know, I'm hoping I can get out of this rut for once. Um, and I plan on doing this. I, I, you know, I used to love making video content. I used to love streaming on Twitch on anything. And as you see in the background, I'm playing uh, Bulletstorm. Um, I've been wanting to play it, so you know, I had I had uh, extra money on my Steam account. And it was on sale. Um, it's actually kind of hard for me to play this. Like, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if I lost interest, or it's my medicine, uh, or just the fact that there's so much on my mind that it's a constant struggle to fix things, to make things go back the way they used to. Um, it kind of hurts. It sucks. Uh, and my family and my friends and everybody... You know, they, they can see it. In the last three years, they can see that I went from somebody that was relatively happy um, with my life. I, I had good things. I had awesome things. I had money. Uh, <laughs> I was able to do things. Now I can't. Now I can't. First time in, you know, years that I've had to move in with any of my family. I, had, I've, I moved out of my parents' house back when I was 21 or 22, um, and I've not had moved back into a family for a long time but my brother reluctantly he was able to be give me a room currently which that's awesome uh i miss my bed but you know i got a decent uh little air mattress <laughs> uh you know it's it sucks it sucks that i have to explain this because you guys already been through this if, if you the, those that has watched me on this channel um may have noticed this you know I started out on a soft like a soft note going from talking about video games to depression to suicide and all that stuff and I kind of feel that I'm going back into it in that same way but this is the thing I want to go ahead and say currently and I do apologize if none of this shit is coming together and making sense I'm hoping that you understand that you know, I'm trying. This is my first time I've done this in a long time. And it's hard to get the words out that I'd want to. Um, but I'm ready to fix my life. I'm ready to get back on my feet. I'm ready to get healthy. I'm tired of being sick. Uh, I'm tired of what this anxiety and depression has done to me. Um, I'm tired of having to depend on other people. And, I, you know, I'm just tired. I'm tired. Um, I've been in the hospital uh, twice now this year for suicide stuff. Um, once I checked myself in. Um, and I lasted for like three days on behavioral unit. And then I decided to swallow 30 of my blood pressure pills. Which required some charcoal and a big uh, hose going down my nose and, and to my stomach uh, to suck all that out uh, you know 
health wise it's not getting any better it's my fault I'm not taking care of myself uh, I'm eating junk um, you know, I let everything get to me I you know I don't hang out with my friends um, cause I, cause I feel as if I, you know, when I'm hanging out with my friends, if I was to hang out with any of them, I would feel like, um, I guess they call it a, a downer. Um, I, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want my friends to have to feel sorry for me every five, you know, anytime we hang out. I don't want that. Um, this last three weeks I have cried more than I actually like to admit. You know, I, I don't like to cry. I know I'm an emotional person. I know. I know I am. Um, and everybody knows me, knows I'm emotional. You know, I care more about any, you know, other people than I care about myself. Uh, that's one of the problems I have. I, I put everybody ahead of me. Um, and I think it's what ultimately uh, hurt me in this process. You know, I care way too much about other people's feelings and wanting to make them happy than making myself happy and I believe that's kinda what has got me to this position in my life you know I've been 30 years old uh, filing bankruptcy um, you know losing a home which is all embarrassing it's truly embarrassing um, but I, I look at it as my mom put it, she said, consider this as a reset button to your life. And I do apologize. You probably hear my fans running on my PC. Um, yeah, I, I made a mistake of going AMD. <laughs> so I've been facing that. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, you know, I guess that she is right on the fact that, hey, this is a reset on my life. And not very many people get that opportunity. So the plan is to take advantage of the opportunity given to fix up my life and make sure I can take care of myself as well as take care of my fiance. That way we can live comfortably. That way we can start a family. And that way we both can be happy. And it's going to be hard. Um, it really is. It really is going to be hard. You know, I, I moved to Illinois with her back uh, a couple years back. And I let my emotions get a hold of me. I let, you know, I, I didn't feel like I belonged up there. I And that was just me. And I apologize to um, everybody up there that, you know, I let that happen. It's my fault. My fault. Um, but things haven't really got any better, honestly. Uh, like I said, the best thing at this point is I got a roof over my head. I've got food on the table. Uh, I don't have a vehicle anymore, but you know what? That's fine. Um, but the tr thing is, I like I said, I want to fix things. I, I would love your help um, to give me an idea of what you think I should do. Uh, I'm not going to have any pictures of my face going on right now <laughs> on the um, actual video, so you're probably wondering, where's my face? Uh, you really don't want to see my face right now. Um, I know that's kind of weird. It's like Mass Effect Andromeda. My face hurts. My face hurts really bad. Uh, but no, I, I just don't want to show my face until I'm happy enough to do that um because you, you you look in somebody's eyes you can tell what kind of person they are and what they're going through and i don't want you to have to look into my sad fat eyes or sad face uh to think, be like oh this guy's this guy's truly is sad uh one sad motherfucker yeah <laughs> but let me go ahead and say this now uh 2018 is going to be a big year. So it's going to be me stepping up and try to be the man that I'm supposed to. You know, this may take me a while to get back to where I'm going. Uh, I want to fix everything financially. I want to try to finish my school. I want to get rid of this nasty fat body. And I just want to be happy again. That's what I want. I, you know, 
and I part of that is making content on YouTube. That always made me happy. I always did. I like I even if one person or 500 people watched the video, it truly made me happy. And you know, I I had my content kind of follow um, in the same line as Boogie2988. It's one of my favorite YouTubers, and I've noticed he's going through some life issues right now. Uh, wish you best of luck, man. Um, but I'm going to try to wing away from that and make it something that's not as truly personal, That which there will be personal videos. But I want to make it fun. I want to make it entertaining. And I want you guys to help me um, make the content you guys want to see. Uh, like I said, it is kind of hard for me to get all this out. And you'll probably notice a lot of stuttering and all that stuff. So I do apologize. But it's uh, this 15 minutes, almost 16 minutes into this video. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to end it here. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more. But um, I'll go ahead and start working on the next video which I'm going to shoot it and hopefully have it out on New Year's uh, Eve uh, into New Year's Day might just do a little stream so if you guys want to feel free to join me hit that uh, like and subscribe button and guys happy new year let 2018 uh, be your year if you're having problems uh, if you're facing some troubles in your life just remember, you don't have to do this alone. It's, you know, everybody's fate going through these problems. Everyone. And, you know, I, I apologize that you had have to go through that. It sucks. It really does. But, go ahead and let 2018 rock. Uh, thank you again. I love you guys. And thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you soon.